Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Uh, your definition of consort might be lost on my human ears. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Who's the consort? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. You're paid to suggest that. But anyway... Uh... What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. <coughs> Many of the people here today, it's our job to ensure that they leave. What exactly do you well, attend? each acolyte has her unique. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. That does sound interesting, and I mean that actually not in a pleasurable way. That is actually kind of interesting. That would mean some sort of electromagnetic charge. Or, not magnetic, rather. There's nothing magnetic about the human body. Actually, it's a lie. Anyway, uh... I'd like to try out your services. Excellent! I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. Wow! Okay! Now, is this a joking, are you serious? Or is this a fuck-off serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Yeah. Whatever. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. I can't tell if this is a black widow... By the tone of the music, huh. I begin. It appears to the consort has taken widow. notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I sense combat. I also sense if I engage in combat that it will not be profitable. This is my first. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see I don't you. Care. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. I literally just walked in here, dude. The Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Cool story, bro. <laughs> oh, that was mean even for me. Okay. No security. Maybe she doesn't need it. That's the hibernation pod. I suspect. That is close enough, Commander. Okay. I've heard right. a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. My best bet would be, who are you? What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. Interesting. I have a oh, friend, the other way around. Septimus, ah. a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he Get will listen to you and let the matter be. my face. Thank you. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. That's not what you offer in return. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. See you in three to four months. <laughs> okay. The reason why I mostly said yes to that was A, XP, and B, it seems like having a powerful friend in an area where I'm kind of new I have to admit, I'm would a be nervous. excellent. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect their first time. 
However, if you can't already figure this out, this is basically an implied high-class cons- well, escort service. Heh <laughs> as much as a consort. Would have been really cool if they had, like, sea creatures in this. You know, like a whale or something. I've actually lost track of completely where I am, so I'm really just kind of wandering at this point, but wandering got us into- Oh, look, we're right back where we need to be. Haha! <laughs> wandering got us into places that are, uh, well, more missions, more XP. I don't feel like going to Korra's Den yet. Let's kind of continue with the main missions here. I might do some missions uh, on the side, probably just tiny ones that don't actually do that much against the actual plot. But I'll try to record most of what I do in this Mass Effect, because it's a Mass Effect complete playthrough. At least that's what I'm trying to make it be. Hello, CSAC Academy. Let's ride an elevator. While we wait the nine years it takes to actually move anywhere, um, I'd like to discuss something that I saw on a... Uh, I got a private message about In light about of recently. a recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization. Excuse me, I was talking. Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. All right then. Anyway, um, it's about uh, my face essentially, or what I look like. Uh, someone asked me to do a face reveal when I got uh, to a thousand subscribers. I haven't quite hit that yet, but we're, uh, it'll be interesting kind of when I do. However, uh, this actually brings up a rather interesting point. Uh, a, I don't really want to reveal my face, and it's not that I don't trust anybody. I, I really don't, but it, mostly the big part of it, oh, here, here we go, I might as well finish my sentence, is that if uh, the internet gives you anonymity, it allows you to be whoever you want to be, and that's partially what the internet has given me, it's allowed me to be basically who I am, which isn't exactly that much different from who I already am, but, you know, you get my point. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, it's like taking off your mask and people are disappointed of what they find out underneath it. Uh, a good example would be Darth Vader from Star Wars. Uh, Darth Vader was so powerful and you, he gave you that image because you didn't know what he looked like. He was just this giant character with this, with a, albeit probably scary at the time, mask that made him a little bit more powerful than he might have actually been, despite the fact that he probably was. And in this case, the mask happens to be the fact that you can't see me at all. Anyway, that's my thought on it. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. That'll I take orders. Pay off. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on! Get out of here! Do I know you, human? I just heard a weapon draw. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Excellent. So, uh, Rex is particularly powerful in, uh, Biotics and combat strength, which is actually atypical of Krogan's. And since we've already seen what Caden and Ashley can do in combat, despite the fact that I'm a huge fan of Caden's um, voice actor, I'm gonna stick around with these guys. They'll actually kind of be my go-tos. Every time I visit the Citadel, 
CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. You are a bounty hunter. Okay, let's do a little bit of exploring. What's in here? No, no elevators, thank you. I prefer to walk, much more interesting. And visually delightful. You look persuading or defensive. What's down here? Some stuff. Who are you? One sec, looking you up. Uh. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Sure. Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. So, the security offices sell weapons. <laughs> anyway, one of these again. I'm not actually sure if they're useful, but here we are. Grenade upgrades. And I don't really use grenades, but at 200 credits... Then again, I'm about to drop below a thousand, and I'd like to at least keep that much around, because most beginning items are about a thousand credits, so... I think I'll pass on that for now. Now I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens if I pull a gun here. Probably not good things. Anyway, let's go to Korra's Den. And while we're there, we can talk to General... Septimus. More assassins? No. Itching for a chance. Actually, did I equip all that stuff that I bought? Like the... Oh, yes, yes, you. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, apparently, blah, blah, blah. Where's the... Equipment. There we are. Um... Light armor, human... It's got a better damage protection than everything I have here. Although it's the exact same as the Explorer. Ah, either way. Uh, boring, 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 boring. Cool. Um, what was I doing? I was going to check to see if I could equip the stuff that I just bought. Or if that just automatically equipped. So I can't remember if it actually equips the mini gel upgrade or not. That's loud, man. Wow. Okay. Looks like it shut down. Fist no. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> I spoke too soon about wanting a bit of combat. Oh, okay. Break cover. Break cover. Hold on. Cover to cover. You sad act. Whoa. Uh, if you guys can cover the right. Oh, in case you're wondering what happened. Shit. I uh, kind of changed out some ammo types on a couple weapons. Because I know that we'll be facing more humans instead of uh, electronic targets. For this little bit. Uber powerful. Perimeter clear. 
Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Locked and loaded. Ah! That's a miss. That was a this shotgun is so powerful. Oh, Garrus, dude, you're down. We're about to be. Um, can I, I can't actually remember how to use Omni Gel. Do I just wait for him to recharge, or...? Well, that's different. That'd be nice. Do I have those up here? Reassign you there, so you're closer to my fingers. Okay, uh, do I have to wait for Garrus to recharge? And actually, what's the key for Medigel? <laughs> Just so I don't have to look this up later. Uh, controls... No, oh, that's a quick slot for that. That's... J, cool. Uh, crouch, Medigel. First aid, F! Oh, that's right next to me. Okay. I would not have assigned that button, but oh well. There we go. He seems to have a lot of... Uh, ammo anyways, or medigel opportunities anyway, so I don't really care about using it. Uh, mind if I do? I'll sort through that later. Do I have to do everything myself? Oh. I guess I have to let... Enemy is everywhere! Enemy is everywhere! Okay, Enemy is on. everywhere! Garrus, don't you have the sabotage ability? Oh, he already... That's what the big explosion was. Okay. Well, Rex, you can use warp barrier. And shield boost. How's your shields looking? Pretty good. But Garrus, you do need that shield boost. You're given an executive order to do that, and I'm going to switch it myself. Hold the line. No, wait. Don't him. kill me. I surrender. Where's the Corian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Don't point wait, your gun wait, at my ass. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. That's the, the same Quarian thing. The isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Probably multiple agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Diversion tactic. Roll away. 